Woody. Mm. I mean, it was already fireworks with C.J. Stroud yeah. taking the league by storm. How big is this trade for Houston? It's adding more to what already was a potent Houston Texans team. I mean, think about where the Houston Texans were two years ago. Mm -hmm. The Houston Texans were a laughing stock in the National Football League, just from the top down, the clown culture there. Then you bring in D'Amico Ryans. Obviously, you draft C.J. Stroud. And the year they had last year where they go, what was it, 10-7? Yeah. They win the play home playoff game against the Cleveland Browns. And now they continue the momentum that they've drawn off of 2023. You go out here and you add all the pieces that they had, they've had. they added in offseason trading for Joe Mixon. You go out here, you get Daniil Hunter. And now you go out and you trade for Stephon Diggs, still a premier wide receiver in the National Football League. And the beauty of this whole trade for the Houston Texans, see, this is different – from when Stephon Diggs went to Buffalo mm -hmm. with Josh Allen, because Josh Allen, they needed they needed a number one to help bring the most out of Josh Allen. Josh Allen was still a very raw quarterback coming out of university with University of Montana. That's not the case with C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud had arguably the best rookie quarterback season in NFL history. This dude is already the one. He is what, what, what the young people say. He's Hemothy. He's that guy, okay? Oh. So, yeah, you know, bring a little. Yeah. You know, the kids <laughs> taught me that. Oh, the okay. kids taught me that. You know what I mean? I definitely so, didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, so now adding him into the mix, he doesn't have to be the number one guy. Yeah. Nico Collins is that dude, is that dude down there. Now you got two guys on the on the perimeter adding Tank Dale coming off the coming off the injury. Yep. This is a top three team in the a in the AFC, in my opinion. They're Whoa. only going. Yeah, they're they're t in my opinion. Obviously, they're, Kansas City. Kansas City. I'm gonna I'm got I'm gonna throw Baltimore in the mix. Okay, of course. And then I'm putting the Houston Texans there. Uh -huh. We talked about on mm -hmm. my Is that my my, my, girl, really? my first lady mm -hmm. talked about on Get Up uh, this morning mm -hmm. how the Houston Texans last year. They went into Cincinnati, and he beat Joe Burrow head-to-head -head in Cincinnati. He did. So, in my opinion, the Houston Texans are a top-three team. They're one of the top teams in the AFC. They're knocking on the door. Wow. They're knocking on the door like in 2024. That. So, to take it a step further. Knocking on the door 2024. Sorry. I mean, we just had to give the bar a moment. Go ahead, Kimberly. So, taking it a step further, before the Stefan Diggs trade, I thought Houston, clear Super Bowl contender. After the Stefan Dix trade, still feel the same way. You know why? Because they already won the South last year. Yeah, the AFC South, all the other teams, Titans, Colts, they, they've improved. They already, they, the Texans have the Offensive Rookie of the Year. And they, to your point, Damian, you're looking very nice today, by the way. Uh, thank you. Um, thank you. you know. They've yeah. upgraded this yeah. roster in free agency. I'm just trying to butter him up for later. No, I know, um, I know I'm doing Oh, that. boy. <laughs> but it, it, to me, it's clear. When you talk about who are the best quarterbacks in, in the NFL, forget AFC. C.J. Stroud, he's in that conversation. Absolutely. So, So for me, it's clear. This was a team that could easily win a Super Bowl. You know, <clears throat> y'all are not necessarily wrong, but you got to tell the whole picture. Um, first of all, Kimberly, they're not in the same situation they were in. They were a Super Bowl contender before, and now they're a Super Bowl contender, so not much has changed. Oh, a lot has changed. Stephon Diggs being there, a lot has changed. The question is whether it's going to be for better or worse. What? It depends on who, which Stephon Diggs shows up. Because remember, he's been problematic, particularly in Buffalo. They didn't get rid of this brother because of his skills. Mm -mm. It ain't lacking. They didn't get rid of this brother because he can't produce. Thousand you yard went, seasons, you yeah. went you went first six games, you averaging 103 receiving yards per game. Mm -hmm. The last 11 games, you averaged 51. 16 touchdown passes Josh Allen has thrown over the last three seasons. Not a single one of them has been to Stephon Diggs. I came on the air over the summertime and reported the brother wanted out. You understand what I'm saying? Now, he tried to deny this. I don't give a damn what you deny. You know you, you know what you've been telling people, and you know Stephen A. going to hear about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the brother wanted out of Buffalo, which, uh, which we understand. Mm -hmm. And so you depart from there. After departing from Minnesota, because rightfully so, you were that dude, and they tried to act like Adam Thielen was that dude. You should have wanted out of there. But then you turn around, and you go to Buffalo, and the window of opportunity that you felt was available to you, you also felt had slipped away. Mm -hmm. had slipped away, which was one of the reasons after you lost to Cincinnati. That was, the, that, was, that was the scuttlebutt. That's what they were talking about. He feels they had lost their window of opportunity, all right? And so now you have to go through this past season. You drop that short touchdown pass against Kansas City, which could have changed things. That's on you. Yeah. That's not on them. But nevertheless, 
still in all, there's, uh, I mean, it got to a point, Lewis Riddick even pointed out, there were times it looked like they weren't even trying to get him the ball. Okay, it was time they look. Sometimes they you just need to change the scenery. Right, right, right. without question. Okay, I sometimes would know the grass is greener. I, I would know. Sometimes the grass is greener. But here's is right. Everybody goes into the new relationship. So what happened in the past? Ah oh, man, you know she she was nagging me. Ah, she was always. Oh girl, what happened? Oh, he no good. He no good man. Da, 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 da. Well, those are, those are girls and boys. And then, I'm enjoying this, but boys. you let her finish. But again, but again everybody has exes, and right. everybody has their own narrative about right. what ruin that relationship. Mm -hmm. The people you have to be careful of are the ones who always say, oh, it was them. It wasn't me. I was the vic. Like, I was trying to give all my love, but it was them. And that, to your point about which Stefan Diggs is going to show up in Houston, I would love to see him try to be all, like, looking at C.J. Stroud like that. He better not do that. What? I don't think he well, will. Well, he's well, a vet. Well, 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 he's, well, he's a vet. Don't well, you well, think first, he'll be kind of more... Well, first of all, first of all, we talk about I'm going to bring up something that Steve and they talked about, you know, how he was acting out in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Now he's been traded to Houston. That's right. Houston's Buffalo. a little different. Houston's a little Buffalo. different than Buffalo. Okay. There's, like, a, there's like, a lot of chair about it. I, I shouldn't even have that's to a lot get of chair into all the, all the extra curriculums that so go on down in Houston. Houston, Houston <laughs> as Sammy Sosa said, Houston has been very, very good to me. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have good weather. Yeah, that's good, Molly. He's going to have good weather. Sure, sure. Yeah. That's yeah. the narrative. Yeah. Yeah. That's the yeah. narrative. Yeah. That's the yeah. narrative. He's going to be happier. The brothers and sisters know Houston. There's a, a reason why James Harden kept trying to marvelous. run back it's to a marvelous, It's a yeah. marvelous town. It's yeah. a marvelous town. But he's yeah. had, here's the thing, H in all seriousness, yes. the issue was in Minnesota, it's like, oh, get this, get, get him a real quarterback. Get him a guy that's a dog. Like, he was right. throwing the ball. He had that in Buffalo. And he was getting those receptions. He was getting targets. Mm -hmm. Don't, Stephon Diggs was getting the ball. The yeah. ball was being thrown to him. There were times where it wasn't, but overall, when you look at the season, overall, but the last eleven games, uh, well, they there were was the fair. most productive fair. tandem. Fair. The last yes. eleven in the NFL. weeks, the last yes. eleven weeks, it was a precipitous drop off. But allow me to get back to your analogy. You are absolutely right with exes as it pertains to boys and girls, mm. but men. And ladies know when to absorb a level of culpability and responsibility. That's all so we're about, about to find that out when it comes to Stephon Diggs. Mm -hmm. in, the, in Houston, And some with people Demica only Rines. have love. You know what I'm saying? You know, they the, only have love for the person and good things to say. So that's another, that's another narrative. Well, that's really? growth. Yeah. You sure about that's that? That's growth. You sure about that? Sure that about is that? growth. Sure about oh, that? Some okay. people okay. just aren't, I mean, that's, you know, a, that's extra are level right there. Are we getting into relationships? I have no, no I'm idea. I have no all idea. The okay. after I have no idea. Positive. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 I mean, but if you need it, let me know. The point that I'm trying to make is this. <laughs> at, the what, end, at the end of the day, it. what it comes down to is this. You step on digs, you go to Houston. You got Nico Collins. You, know, so you got Tank Dell. You got Schultz, okay? You got C.J. Stroud. And then think about this. They're the first team in NFL history that added a 100-plus catcher mm -hmm. in Stephon Diggs, mm -hmm. a 1,000-yard rusher in Joe Mixon, mm -hmm. yeah. and a 10-plus sacks in Daniel... You, Daniel, Daniel Hunter? Uh, uh, D Daniel, mm -hmm. Daniel yeah. Hunter. Yes. So I'm saying, when you look at it from that perspective, no the NFL team has done that. We saw them get blitzed by, by Baltimore, so mm -hmm. we can't give them the edge over that. We know we can't give them the edge over Kansas City, but I agree with you. A definitive third team, who is that? We don't know right now. But you, but you know what? You know what makes all of this possible? What? Hitting on a rookie quarterback. Rookie contract. Rookie That's contract yes, makes yes, all of you're this possible. Right. When CJ, when you like yep. the, the season that CJ Stroud put together allowed the Houston Texans as an organization said, now is our window. We have to do it. Mm -hmm. Look what's happening in Buffalo. Good. They're ham, Buffalo they're had hamstrung. really been dismantling yeah. yes. their team all because, because you paid Josh Allen yeah. a big contract. And look at all the the, the veteran players that have been yeah. really good yep. for the Buffalo Bill. And conversely, look what's happening in yeah. Houston They're right now. They're going to have to step up, up in Buffalo or, get, or draft. And let's remember the most pivotal point of all And of then this. i got to move on. You're talking a lot right now. They are officially the best team in Texas. Let's move Jerry's going to be hitting you up about that one. They're the best team in Texas. <laughs> is, that, is that a fair statement? It's the best team in Texas. Oh, yes. I, That's a fair statement. I, I'll say this. Listen. Is that like is that Mike definitive? McCarthy's had 12 wins in three seasons in a row. Three seasons in a row. And one play of it. Well, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, you listen. You're taking Dak and Mike McCarthy I'm just saying. over D'Amico and Dak. Are we just, are we just, are we just going to just dismiss? A, no are we question. just going to dismiss the Cowboys? That's, like, a, that's a great point, though. It's a new day in Texas. Yes, we Is are. Is this the first time we can really say that? 
It's I will say, now listen, the Texans. I will, no, I, are, I will say this. Dallas Stephen A. brings up a good point. Jerry Jones talked about being all in. The Houston Texans are about it. Like, they are literally about it right now. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Uh, they, got the they got the better quarterback. Thank you. They got the better coach. Thank you. Okay, right now they got a better running game. Okay, right now they got a better defense. And the bottom line is this. In the end, when you look at it, pressure breaks pipes. And we can talk about Mike McCarthy all we want to with the con three consecutive 12-win seasons. They, they have as many playoff victories in that yeah. time as the Houston Texans. Guess what? Pressure also makes diamonds.